this is going to be a brief overview of ERLA uh, modules that we have available as an intervention, especially for secondary here in Canvas. Um, if you are not familiar with the different ERLA co colors or bands and what they represent, um, just to quickly go over it, white folder, ERLA white, is uh, equivalent to third grade. Black is equal to fourth grade, orange is equal to fifth, and purple is equal to sixth. So if you have a student that's significantly below reading level, these are some interventions that can be used during their choice reading time um, to help guide them in a specific area. Okay, so in the black level, uh, they are going to be focused on silent reading and building reading stamina. So um, this is, this is when we start to move into the larger bands where students are still having to move through books quite quickly, but um, it's going to take them a little bit longer because they're longer chapter books. And we really want students at the black level to take advantage of page turners. So this is really um, important work with series, like really good series that, that are geared towards, you know, grabbing a kid's attention. Students have just worked on building academic vocabulary to get out of the white level and move into the black level. Um, so their vocab demands are increasing in sophistication. And again, students should be able to use context clues, breaking apart word parts, um, to help identify any new words as they come across them. So they're, they're reading smaller chapter books. They should be chapter books that are hopefully a part of a series so that they can keep on going and they want to keep reading. Um, but they should be trying to finish smaller, smaller chapter books each week, um, which sounds like a lot to a student that has maybe struggled with reading in the past. So I think really getting them hooked into a series is going to be helpful here. Um, Double check your links, as I've said in the past, with any of the uh, navigational arrows within the module. And again, just know that if you are worried about some of those chapter books or series books, that this is something that we too are aware of and are going to continue to try and fund and buy for your classrooms. And we have some lists of things to look for that you might already have um, to be able to pull and provide for these particular students. So as we dive into the module for, for the black reading level specifically, you'll notice that you have cold read text, text A, B, C, and D. Um, for some of the cold reads, just know that um, it might be something where you might have to print these out for the students. They will read this cold read, record their voice reading this cold read, and answer these basic um, questions. And it. it's right here within this. They're answering the questions here. So. Um, Something to think about, I just notice as a student when they go to record, they might not be able to read the screen on their Chromebook, so having it right in front of them to read while they're recording their voice is going to be really helpful. Um, every Erla section has their own skills card. Students coming up from elementary are very familiar with these skills cards. They usually are printed out for them. Um, on the corresponding colored paper um, cardstock usually, and they have it just like in their reading folder. Specifically for these students, they're going to be answering these questions in their reader's response journals, and these are questions you can use when you confer with these students. Um, in terms of what they should be doing, so this is telling them they should be reading a chapter of book each, each week. They should be hooked in a series, reading for an hour a day, 30 minutes at home without anyone reminding you. So again, really building that stamina. There's also an emph emphasis still here in the black level on uh, vocabulary words. So you will see within the module some um, Quizlet flashcards to practice those words. So I'll just open up one of those. Students are, are, should feel free to look and use these flashcards as much as possible prior to taking the actual um, test quiz in the module. They have to get a certain um, score in order to move forward, and I think it says that on this vocab page, what actual um, numbers that they need to get. And each of these are links to the quizzes, but it moves them through it also within the module itself. Um, and if I preview this for you, you can just see. And again, obviously, you can go in and change these at any time. So match the word to its definition. And if the students have studied them, then they should be okay. They can take the test as many times as they want if you go back through the settings of the quiz. You can change those settings. If that, if that would work better for your students, feel free to do that. Um, I do have a couple of different spaces here for you to collect data as they move through this uh, particular band. So um, 
within this particular uh, reader's response, they're going to take pictures of their journal and upload that two times a week. Their reader's response journal should be a sections or they should be answering the questions from the skills card. Um, and they should just do this at the end. Hopefully your direct instruction during choice reading time provides them with time to go into their reading journal and respond. If I go back into the module, another place to collect data, when they are thinking that they are almost finished and ready to test out of this particular ULA band, they need to be able to provide literature responses that answer very specific questions. So this is set up as a quiz. Let me go ahead and preview it for you. So these are coming straight from their uh, skills card again. So they need to pick which comprehension question that they're going to answer and then follow these um, responses as they build it. The response in this instance should be three sentences long. Again, you can change this if you'd like for the responses to be a little bit longer or bigger. Um, but yeah, there's a literature response, literature comprehension response and an info text comprehension response. So um, I think it I think it says you have to have a couple and again you have to go back through as the teacher and and take a look and see okay I think that these um, students are ready to maybe move out of the black level and start moving into orange orange would be next I think am I right is it orange next yes orange is the next level so those are just ways for you to continue to collect evidence for students to prove that they're ready to test out and go to the next level at the very, very end of the module as well, I also have included some videos for students um, on making inferences, how to increase your stamina with reading, all sorts of really great um, options here, how to use textual evidence. So feel free to add to this video. If there's things that you feel like are missing and could be great here, feel free to, to let me know and I can add them and make that adjustment for everybody. Um, and so those are just there for extra added benefit for the students. <laughs>